Well, 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 we're playing the T-34-3. Wouldn't you know that? Um, we've got an ace tanker for you today. We are on the map outpost, and you'll notice I've loaded HE for the first shot, and that's because I see they've got a 40T, uh, a Progetto 46, and those are the only only real fast tanks that I see going middle. Maybe the Super Hellcat or the EBR Hotch, although I doubt I, I will catch him the hotch and so um we do pull up and we see this <laughs> this progetto and you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take and so we pick up almost 600 damage there um this thing has uh 530 alpha on its he rounds and so it is highly effective now one thing i noticed uh the AE phase one is not something i want to fight and also i have he loaded at 61 millimeters of pen. I kind of expected that Progetto to kind of poke us um, from that top section, obviously, where I'm aimed. And that did not happen. So um, so we're going to rotate out because I, I don't want to fight a uh, Super Pershing either, quite honestly. I see no reason to sit there and trade shots with my inaccurate gun. So I've never used this spot here before, but I decide I'm going to try it out. And uh, we're just going to try and get vision out. And we do get some vision on an Oni that is camping in the back. And I probably should have fired, but I ended up changing to a gold round because I didn't think I'd get a good shot on him with my standard pen. I think my standard pen's like around 190. Uh, yeah, 196. And so that's not generally enough to go through an Oni, um, especially with my gun. My gun, the gun on this is not super accurate, especially at that range. However, uh, we, we are in a good location. We're in a good spot, in my opinion. The thing that, that makes this really possible is the fact that they've got an EBR Hotch. Now, that, that thing's fast, but it doesn't have very good view range. Even with CVS, he has no hope of spotting us until he gets about 300 meters away. Because we do have some camo, and it does break some of the camo of the bushes, but it doesn't break at all if you're using CVS. So um, I would say 250 to 300 meters were all right. So. so the Super Pershing has gone up on the hill, the enemy Super Pershing, and... The, and it appears as if the Progetto is still up there, but he is near dead. So I decide at this point that I'm not getting shots or any, nothing's really happening. And they are not challenging the middle uh, at all. So I ask this Type 59 to go help me, uh, which he does. Uh, but I think the way he kind of approaches it is a little bit different, but that's okay. So... We do end up, uh, I make a little bit of a mess myself with this. But in the meantime, the Progetto gets taken out by Artie. But that was my, my top priority is to take out the Progetto first. Because obviously he's got the gun with 720 Alpha effective. And we do end up, this guy shoots HE at us. I don't know why he's shooting HE, but uh, he is. And I end up shooting and I just track him, which is very, very disappointing. But we're just trying to use our mobility to not get damaged. And again, he turns the corner just enough to where I cannot hit him. So, and then I block the shot from my Type 59. I'm just doing all kinds of things wrong here. But this guy has now given up and uh, our Type 59 is able to take him out. Unfortunately, uh, he does take a bunch of arty for it. So, But I guess the fortunate side is we're not taking a bunch of arty for it. However, there's, there's a heavy tank that we're able to uh, put a shot into, and that works out great. And then I see this EBR Hotch coming up behind my, my ISU, and I want to help him. I really want to help him, but... Uh, the shell velocity lets me down and actually it was just a poor shot quite honestly but um, yeah unfortunately the shell velocity was not good enough and I don't play this tank enough to um, 
to always practice and know how what kind of shell velocity it has. So two things here. One is that I'm I was pushing up on that ledge in order to get a shot on the BZ, which did not occur because he was not in the open. But also it protects me from artillery. So so now we've got we've we've won our the the center of the map, and it looks like the heavies are pushing in. Uh, and so it's time to move forward and try and get some more damage. We're, we've got 1,700 and a little bit of assist, so we're, we're trying to get a shot on this IS-2M, and this is a hope shot if I've ever seen one, but uh, just like the Progetto, you, you never know what shots you're going to hit, so uh, we're going to go ahead and eliminate this poor fellow, and it's currently 8 to 4, with a lot of meat left on the board, there's a Scorpion G, there's a full health Oni, or nearly a full health Oni, there is a full health T95, and then there's a Lorraine 40T that uh, is full health as well, So and this Gasor. So there's a lot left on the table, and uh, and this Oni is, is surrounded and attempting to... Uh, fight off several guys, so of course I'm going to go in there and while he's occupied, shoot at him. So the Gasor um, is, he looks like he's hes after that T-44 and it's possible that he's out of rounds, it looks like he probably is. And so the T-25-2 manages to ram him, which good for him. We're going to take a snapshot at this 40T. Once again, we're not being focused, which is fantastic. But um, Artie is liking us. But other than that, we're not being focused. So at this point, it's still it's 10 to 7. But we've got double the hit points they do. And most of the hit points they have are on that T95. But I don't really want to walk out in front of a Scorpion G. So I ask the T44 to come help me. Uh, which he does, but he does in a very haphazard way. So if you've ever asked, had somebody ask you to help, and and you've died as a result of it, it's likely because of the way you're pushing. This guy is making him the himself the focus of attention. Um, I am in cover. I'm hold down. And this T-44 just runs in there like crazy, which uh, I'm glad he came in because it did create a distraction. But um, I, it wasn't my intention to, uh, to bait him into going ham and then taking all that damage. So, so we are able to take out the first Artie and uh, we're up to 4,000 damage and we go ahead and push on this guy and kill the other guy uh, with a ram. So let's look at the after action on this one. Okay, here we are at the after action, and our, we did get an ace. Of course, we got a Pascucci's because we killed both Arties, and we got a high caliber uh, for our 4,194 damage. Four kills, 1,535 base XP, which is eh, it's getting up there. Uh, our BZ-58 was second uh, on damage, or on XP, and um, we ended up uh, quite a ways ahead of everybody else. We're a thousand damage ahead. So, um, yeah, that was uh, quite the game for us. That was 16 shots, 14 hits, 12 pens, and then we also had 1,400 assists. So that takes us up to 5,600 combined in a Tier 8 premium, which I'm very happy with in an eight minute game. This game, this tank likes games that are a little bit longer because the reload is so long and the aim time so long. Uh, it just prefers longer games. We ended up with 75,000 credits out of that with a standard account and 1,689 XP for our crew. So if you have any questions about the T-34-3, I can probably answer them. I'm not the best T-34-3 player in the world, but um, I like to fancy myself pretty decent at it. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you next time. Toaster out.